last couple times we spoke with uh, Chris Hampton, um, he's really emphasized your ability to kind of be the quarterback in the, in the secondary mm-hmm. and praise your understanding of the how, how did you get there? Just how did you develop that skill set where you know everything for every group, every position group? Um, I would just say being my, you know, long time being here, just understanding my study habits and what I have to do to understand the playbook, being that I've had probably I think four different defense coordinators by now. So I just understand what I need to do, how to need to break down the playbook to, I, to where I understand it. And then a lot of times guys ask me questions. So I'm teaching a lot as well as playing. So I get like reps all time and time again from just different avenues. What's it like playing for a coach that emphasizes player leadership so much? You know, it's fun because you actually have a voice. It's not like a dictatorship where, you know, the head guy is this way and, and, or it's, it's my way or the highway. It's more so like, okay, hey guys, well, how, do you, how can you help the team? And like, you know what I'm saying? The leaders really have a voice on the team and things like that. So I really feel like it's a, it's a beautiful thing and I enjoy it. What are you looking forward to the most with all these Pac-12 quarterbacks and drafted bases here? You know what? That's a good question. I feel like we have a lot of talented guys in the pack right now. I wouldn't just pinpoint on one individual, but we have a lot of talent, and I'm just looking forward to the season coming up for sure. What do you guys need to do on a week-to-week basis against such talented quarterbacks in this, in this league? Just take it one day at a time, one snap, one rep at a time, just really focus in on you know our, our ex- executing at a high level, uh, our film breakdown and everything that – it goes with you know prepping for a game. You lined up against him in practice years ago, but what's it going to be like to see uh, Tyler week two uh, in Lubbock, Texas? You know Tyler, that's my guy. Fun fact, he's my roommate as a freshman, so it's going to be it's going to be fun, you know, to uh, play against him. You know, it, it's it's just going to be almost like practice how it was a couple years ago because we used to go against each other. So it's going to be fun, just in a different uh, uniform, but it's going to be fun to see him play yeah. against him. Have you guys? Have you guys talked since since he left and maybe been anticipating this matchup? Or is you it know, we uh, we engage here and there on social media. So you know, it's at the end of this, he is my friend, he's my guy. So we follow each other and we interact. So that nah, we're good. And uh, I guess what's gonna be what's gonna be cool about that? You know, going up against someone that you know you have that familiarity with. And I would say it's gonna be fun to just see his growth. Cause like I said, he's been gone for a couple years now, so it's gonna be fun to see him how how much how he stepped into that that QB one role and that leadership role on that team, and just seeing his growth from my perspective to where he is now. And what about yourself? How do you, how do you think you've grown? You know, how how do you think he's gonna and well, not he how mm-hmm. he's gonna see you, but mm-hmm. you know, you've grown on the on the same kind of level. Yeah, you know, just going from that that freshman uh, to you know that more veteran. A player on the team, just understanding what you're doing. You're not so, so wet behind the ears as you first were when you first came in. So, and then what do you kind of expect from from this group, um, along with yourself, um, this year as opposed to last year? When you say group, my position group. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, last. you know, we're definitely trying to elevate our standard. You know, we um, we did all right last year. We're trying to just ultimately just do better than what we did uh, this past season, this season coming up. So we got a lot of new faces in the room, a lot of freshmen, we got some transfers uh, in the room. So we're just trying to just elevate our standard. You've been in this position heading to camp so many times you know. How has sort of your mentality changed about, you know, getting after camp and attacking camp from day one from, you know, your freshman year? So? I would just say every day trying to get better. Where in my game can I get better? Am I is it more film study? Is it more stretching? Is it more code telling things like that? So just trying to find places in my game that I didn't do last year, try to do better next year. Like I'm constantly trying to get better. So just trying to find ways to get better, whether, you know, I find it within myself or anything, I ask somebody to help me. So what are some of those areas you feel like you need to address? I would say me being an older player, definitely need to more uh, warming up before getting out there, like, you know, more uh, and the more prehab stuff to prevent injuries. So stretching, cold tubbing, treatments, just different things like that. Just from, you know, playing for so long, you got to just be ready to prep your body because we play a very intensive sport. So you got to do everything possible to, you know, stay healthy. One of the things that you said off season, you wanted more of this picks this year. Mm-hmm. How do you improve on getting so I would say if you understand what you're doing, okay, now let's understand what the office is trying to do. And then from that aspect, okay, now I have been film study, I understand what they're what they're trying to do, and now oh I seen it, now let's go. Don't think more reaction. So like I said, me being an older player, I understand what I'm doing. I, I'm not so much struggling with the plays and it's more so like, okay, now I see this formation, I anticipate this this uh, play that they're gonna run. Okay, now the play happened, now let's go make the play. Now you know you, you can't oh I'm, Guaranteed to get more picks, but you can definitely put yourself in a better position to get more picks. So that's that's more so what I'm trying to lean towards.
talked a lot about being an older player. Yeah. Do you feel like kind of an old head around here now? You know what? I do. I've had some of my teammates call me uncle. I don't really like it too much, but <laughs> it, it's cool. It's cool. They called me Uncle Steve. I said, I was like, man, I was talking to Poncho, and he was like, did you know that when I was in the in elementary school, you are in college, I was like, hey, man, listen, don't age me like that. But, <laughs> but it was cool. It was cool. So, so I'm embracing it, I, I would say. <laughs> we were talking to Terrence Ferguson about him actually being as he was considered one of the best athletes in the country mm -hmm. in his recruiting class. Have you ever lined up with him and just yeah. seen something that he's done that just made him some, wow, like, that's crazy. Because Ferguson was really raving about just how athletic he is. Yeah, no, definitely. I would definitely. I definitely agree with uh, T. Ferg on that. As he's definitely athletic, he's he's fast. He can run. He's physical. He, he runs good routes, crisp routes. Like I said, he's he's a very uh, intelligent young man coming in. I don't see him really messing up too much. He runs his plays right. Coaches are really chewing him out. But like I said, he's very he's a good specimen. Great specimen. I'm glad to have him on my team. So overall, what do you want to see differently from the defense that you didn't see last year? Um. Just executing in our situations. So, you know, it was, it was times it was third down, we weren't getting off the field at times we're supposed to. So I just say executing in areas where we feel like we actually execute and just just handle our situations better than what we did last year. How has your ability to self assess your own game improved mm -hmm. as you've gone on in your career? You know what? I watch a lot of film on myself, I do a lot of self scout and just things that I didn't do so well the year before, I try to, you know, put the emphasis on that. The, the years come and I just tend to get better. So I just feel like me just focusing on things that I struggle on and just, like I said, just working on it, working on it, working on it, I just get better along with the other things that I do see myself good at, at doing so. Steve, you had a chance in one of the get real sessions or the position room where we talk about everybody's why. Mm -hmm. You had a chance to share that idea? I did, I did. I did have uh, an opportunity to talk, talk to the team, discuss their why. So. To, to answer your question, you wonder what my why is? Yeah. Oh, so for me personally, it's my family. I'm a big family guy, you know, just growing up. I, I have uh, seven siblings, I have three sisters and four brothers, and then I have five nephews. And I, like, yeah, I just have people that look up to me. Then I have people that, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make proud, you know, my grandparents, my mom, my dad, my stepdad. So I'm just constantly just trying to keep up with that standard. And just, I'm just a big family guy. And I just, I just want to see my family thrive. And I feel like I can help them thrive. I'm gonna just reach out and do everything I can possible. So I definitely say family. You the oldest of the brothers, or I'm I am the second oldest in the brothers. Okay, I was just curious because yeah. since you're the fourth, I didn't yeah. know exactly. You know, it's fu it, or... it's funny. So my my older brother, we have different moms. We have the same dad, and his mom didn't want to name him Steve. So my older brother named Jabri. But then when, when I was coming around, my dad wanted to name me after him. So I was the second son actually. So it's a fun fact. What what does like what's in a name? What what is what is being the fourth? You know what? When you're carrying that. So it's Alfred Steve Stevens the fourth, and I just getting recruited. It's been Steve Stevens, and just the fourth to me is just it's a it's a big it's a big deal for me because like I said, I'm representing those three other Steves before me. I just feel like I'm trying to represent my name in a in a great manner. So I just like I said, I just every day just. Every, every way possible to try to just keep my family proud. When you hear your teammates watch, you hear BAs in particular, mm -hmm. especially you hear Jamal, but he hasn't even shared a lot of the guys, mm -hmm. uh, puppies. As a guy who's been here for his whole life, a guy who has been here his whole life, what does that mean to you? How does that help and when you guys talk about connection? What does that mean? I'm glad, you, I'm glad you said connection. When you understand somebody else's why and why they do what they do, it just allows you to respect them, have a different just respect and connection for them because they were vulnerable to you to express their why. Because everybody doesn't want to do that. And it's, that's difficult to do, it's not easy to do. And for them to be vulnerable and to express what it is that that's their why, it's like, okay, now I understand what you, now I'm gonna ride for you, I'm gonna fight for you because you understand my why, I understand yours. And now it's like, it's common ground. So it's big time.